This quick guide video provides an overview of how to position the electrodes when performing CVEMP testing. The CVEMP is an ipsilateral response, meaning that stimulation of the left vestibular system results in the inhibition of the left sternocleidomastoid muscle. Therefore, the left blue electrode should be placed on the tendon belly of the left sternocleidomastoid muscle while the left ear is being stimulated, and the right red reference electrode should be positioned on the tendon belly of the right sternocleidomastoid muscle during right ear stimulation. The active electrode should be positioned on the clavicular joint and the ground on the forehead. An alternative electrode montage can be used as displayed here, but this requires the active electrode to be moved between tests. This montage is however useful when it is difficult to mount the electrodes between the clavicles or if the heart muscle is interfering too much with the EMG contraction. In addition, the alternative setup is useful if an ABR test has been recorded prior to the CVEMP, as the two reference electrodes can be reused. The electrode sites must be prepared and cleaned in order to obtain acceptably low skin impedance. It is recommended to have impedance values of 10 kilo ohms or lower. The impedance between one another should be balanced or similar in value. In addition to having low impedance, it's also important to ensure that the reference electrodes are positioned correctly in their respective positions. Studies have shown that for the most reliable CVEMP response, the reference electrode should be placed on the tendon belly of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Lastly, it is important to reduce the gain of the preamplifier in order to handle the large muscle potentials of the response. Make sure that the VEMP button on the preamplifier is activated. This concludes this quick guide video on how to position the electrodes for CVEMP testing.